My family went from being refugees to now, now the next mayor of Cincinnati. And that journey is tonight's breaking news. Aftab Pureval, you're looking at him. He is the mayor elect of Cincinnati. Thanks so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News at 11 on this election night. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. We do have extensive live coverage for you tonight. We want to check in though right away with reporter Evan Millward, who is with the mayor elect right now. To build up our city. Do we have to have any Democrats on council? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that there's a new council. I'm excited to turn the page on this ugly chapter in Cincinnati's history with, with the several indictments. And I'm excited and looking forward to working with that new council. Uh, James Pilcher, look at Paul News. Uh, you won with 66% uh, of the vote. What does that say to you about your campaign? It says that uh, we worked incredibly hard going to all the neighborhoods of Cincinnati, meeting voters where they are, and they fully support, clearly support our vision for pushing Cincinnati forward. I have to have Evan with Channel 9. We're live now. You and David Mann are both Democrats. You ran very different campaigns. What did he say to you when he called you tonight? Well, he, our conversation will remain private, but I'll just say that I have so much respect for David Mann and his wife, Betsy. They're uh, beloved in our community. They've worked so hard, spent their entire careers in public service, not just to Cincinnati, but to the country. And I'm so grateful for that service. How do you plan on working with the new council specifically? How do you plan on working with him? And does it have the makeup that you believe is needed to be able to enact the plan that you ran on? Yeah, the, the, the voters get to, to decide that. And they voted overwhelmingly for my vision for Cincinnati, and they voted for this council. And what they expect is that we will work together, work collaboratively in order to drive results for our city. That'll be my priority, and I expect that'll be council's priority as well. How special was this moment to be here with your family, your, your parents in attendance, and, and all of that? It's incredibly special, um, particularly in the context of ro in the, the rise of AAPI hate and violence uh, around the country. Uh, being elected the first Asian mayor of Cincinnati, being elected the first Asian mayor in a Midwestern city uh, is, is, I think, a profound statement of Cincinnati's future. Uh, as I mentioned in my remarks, Cincinnati being a place where anyone can come and, and achieve their dreams. Do you have an organizational chart for what your administration will look like on day one? Like, who's the new manager? Yeah, so th those are decisions that we're all going to, to decide during my transition, um, and, and certainly in my, my first few weeks in office. But tonight, we're, we're excited to celebrate this win. I have to have, what is the first order of business? Tomorrow's really day one, even though it's not officially day one. <laughs> so what's the first thing you do? The, the first thing that I do is, is start uh, enacting these plans that I have. As I mentioned, I've, I ran on four comprehensive plans in order to lift up all of Cincinnati, and starting tomorrow, we're going to get to work. How, how important is the recovery from the pandemic? You spoke about that a lot, but is yeah. that the top priority of everything, or where, where is yeah. there a hierarchy? The, 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 the economic recovery from this pandemic continues to be uh, a very important priority. We're still in the middle of this pandemic. Uh, we're, our, our economy is still running in place. Uh, we've got to continue to work collaboratively in order to get vaccinations up and get people comfortable working and living and recreating in person. You may have been asked this already, I couldn't hear, but shortly after you're sworn in, you've got a lot on your plate. Yeah. I mean, the police chief, yeah. what can you tell the community about um, you know, what you will do shortly after sworn in in January? Yeah, well, well as I mentioned, the voters elected me with a clear mandate, overwhelming support, historic numbers, and on day one, I'll get to work enacting my agenda of transforming Cincinnati and, and lifting up our community. How soon will you make a decision about the police chief and the city manager? Well, I've, I've got to work with, uh, with uh, Chief Isaac uh, to talk with him about you know, what his plans are, uh, what his timeline is, work collaboratively with him about, about what that process looks like. Any final message to the voters that supported you so strongly? Thank you so much for this opportunity.